Hey there, this is Adrian from PyImageSearch.com and today I'm going to address a question I've received a handful of times on PyImageSearch's real-time object detection posts. And that question is, how do I filter out object classes that I'm not interested in? Um, I've seen people do it a few different ways, most of the time incorrectly, uh, normally leads to errors, so I'm going to take the time now to show you how I do it and to ensure you get the correct result. So as you can see here, I have the source code associated with the blog post pulled up, and I have a class here called ignore. Any classes that we put in here will not be detected, and these class names need to come from this class list. So for the this first script, I'm just gonna start it with just, um, with just an empty set. So I'm gonna ignore no classes. And as you can see uh, here, I am detected. Now I'm gonna pull this in the background and I'm gonna go in here and say, I'm going to ignore the person class. Here you can supply a list of the classes you want to ignore. Again, all the classes need to come from this list. So I'm gonna save it, open up a new shell and uh, execute the script. Again, just copy and paste the script name, the command line arguments, throw it in here and wait for it to start. Now, when this video stream starts, you'll see that I am no longer detected, but in the original script, I am. So again, we've modified the ignore class, and just to show you that this is actually working, I'm gonna hold up the bottle, and sure enough, you can see in, uh, in both instances, the bottle is detected. So there you have it. Make sure you follow these, uh, these guidelines when you're building your own script. Again, make sure you modify this ignore class, and then uh, scroll down to the bottom here, and you'll see that we're checking to see if the class exists in our ignore set. And if it is, we ignore the class. So there you have it. Be sure to uh, click the link at the description of this video to check out the full source code and download it. See you next time.